Hi everybody, welcome to Jack the Artist. This is my first in a series of videos that I'm going to be making public. Up until now, all of my videos have been private for education use, so with schools. Due to extremely high demand, I've decided to make my own channel for YouTube and Instagram. In the videos, we're going to be looking at loads and loads of different techniques and things you can try from home, with all kinds of things, so you don't need to have expensive materials or expensive brushes and paints. Today we're going to be looking at making sculptures using cardboard. The two artists we're going to be looking at are Aaron Curry, who this one's inspired by, and Pablo Picasso, which this one's inspired by. Both are kind of similar in technique of cutting and slotting with the material. First of all, I'm going to show you some techniques of how you can create a kind of a portrait, a little bit like the Picasso style one here. I'm going to be using a hot glue gun as well as double sided tape, but you can use PVA glue and masking tape, any, any tape really. Uh, I'm also going to be using black ink and white paint. So first of all, with this neck, the sort of structure I'm going to build from, I'm going to roll it into a tube and then when you've done that, either some strong tape or some glue. If you do use PVA glue, then just either tape it with some masking tape as well, and then that'll mean that it will just hold it in place while it dries. I'm gonna use some a hot glue gun for speed. And then when it comes to sticking this, this neck structure, the main sort of armature of your sculpture down, you're gonna to need to create some tabs so that just you know, you wanna cut like three or four centimeters up. And fold them out. Now I have like a structure now to work with. So I've got my base here and my sort of neck structure. Alternatively, if you do have kitchen towel tube or something like that, that will work really well. Just do that down there. So for the next part I'm going to start on my face here. Now if you're not very confident at just cutting freehand you could draw it out first. So I'm going to sort of just mark out roughly how big my face wants to be and roughly where my features are going to be. to work out sort of the thickness of this card so it's probably about two or three millimeters maybe four and then I'm gonna cut a slot that same kind of thickness here of the neck you can see it's just like a let's pull that slot out you can see if I now slot that in okay but it's a bit loose I could glue it or I could cut a, the same kind of length slot now into the cardboard here, same thickness as the cardboard, same thickness as the, as, the, as the head. So you want to go for this thickness. And I can just slot that straight down. There we go, and that's quite secure now. And I could glue that if I wanted to as well. The shape of the face, the side of the face. Coming in here, and then I'm going to attach it here. So again, with this one, I'm going to cut a slit down the edge here. The thickness of that cardboard, right? But because this cardboard is much thinner, the slit I cut into this cardboard is going to be the, the width of this thin cardboard instead. So a much thinner line.
Last stage now is to do a little bit of detail on this 3D portrait using some, some black paint or ink or pen or crayon. It's really up to you what you use. I'm going to use a bit of black ink. I love working with ink. This is sort of between that painting, texture, and drawing that combination. There we have it, Picasso-inspired cardboard sculpture. Ah.